What's up YouTube? We are back. Haven't been on for a little while. Um, it's been winter. Haven't really done a whole lot. So, anyways, figured I would start out coming back with a video of this new pack setup that I'm putting together. It is a Kafaru 14er, and this is an internal frame pack, and it's not really made for carrying meat loads. I mean, you, I'm sure you could, but it's not really built for that, and so that's not what I'm going to use it for. The main focus of this pack is scouting trips, camping trips, just out for a hike. Um, the reason I went with this is it's, it's small, it's compact, but I can add pockets to it where I want to actually increase the amount of room. So this is the 14er, and what I've got on the belt, I've got one small pocket here, and I've got a small X-Pack pocket and a large X-Pack pocket. On the front here, this is the Sherman pocket. This is the this is my camera bag. I'm actually going to do a video on that later. But this has all my camera stuff in it, my audio stuff, everything. Which the audio on this may not be great because my audio recorder is dead right now. So um, I've got some collapsible checking poles tied up here, and then they're tied in under the Sherman pocket. And then on this side, I've got again a small, a large, and then just an Nalgene holder here. Um, what I've got in here right now is enough stuff that I could actually get through a, a couple days of hunting. Now I don't have food in here right now just because I didn't put it in for this video, but I've got, because I'm going to go out tomorrow, I've got some warmer gloves because it's been snowing, I've got a beanie, I've got a face mask, I've got some lighter weight merino gloves all in that smaller pocket. Now this top pocket I've actually got, this is actually a tarp. And then in here I've got uh, my Climate Ozone sleeping pad, which is a lightweight, smaller pad. And then in the bottom of here is uh, pegs, or uh, not pegs, poles, ground sheet, extra guidelines, stuff like that. So my whole sleep system basically fits in here. Now, on this other side, this one actually has a Kelvin Active jacket in there which tomorrow I'll be wearing it. I put it in there more for just this video. And then in this bottom small pocket, I've actually got my rain jacket in here. So with the way I had that set up, obviously, you know, if it was warmer weather, tomorrow I'll be wearing my Kelvin Active because it's cold. But if it was warmer weather, you could have your puff in your rain jacket where you can get to it really quick without getting the main bag. This will just have small different things. I'm not even sure what's in there right now. Um, Oh, this is actually the new climate uh, butt pad, inflatable butt pad for glassing. So that's I don't I don't know why I put it in there. Anyways, so going into the main bag, we set this down. This has a zippered pocket up here on the top, and I've actually got my climate pillow and then a set of sunglasses that will record video in there, and then you can open this up. In the top of here is a mesh pocket, and I've actually got my uh, first aid kit, daily kit, in there. I've got the chamber slider with just extra buckles and straps, things like that. Now, in this, there's a sleeve inside this bag that you can't probably see. That's where my big spotter is. And then in the other side would be my tripod, but obviously I'm using that right now to film this. But then in here, what I've actually got, I've actually got a whoopee. So the way I'm setting this bag up right now is to go scouting. Um, so I could replace that with a sleeping bag if I was planning to actually spend the night or if the weather's going to be really warm, take the woogie, whichever. And then like I said, the Sherman Pocket, I will do a video on it separately. It's, uh, it's my camera gear bag. My 70 to 200 fits in here, all my cleaning stuff, my audio equipment. Now there is a main zipper here that you can use to access the main bag. Um, I have the Sherman pocket set up with two buckles on the bottom, so if I wanted, I could actually unbuckle the bottom and flip it up over the top of the lid if I needed to zip this down to get in here for something in the bottom of the bag. Obviously, where I just have the wubby shoved in the bottom, it's not really something I need to worry about. So, like I said, just a, a bag setup that I'm going to try out this year for scouting. Going to go do some peak trips, some camping trips, stuff like that. So, anyways, figured I would show it off. 